Resident Evil is chock full of campy fun. <laughs> well, shoot, y'all can't take me seriously this way. How? Oh, oh, oh. That's better. Heck, the first game alone is just top to bottom campy wild voice lines. Here are five of the most memorable and weird lines from the entirety of the Resident Evil franchise. Let's begin with the game that started it all. In Resident Evil 1, we ended up with such great classics like You were almost a Jill sandwich. But I think one of my personal favorites was probably from Barry stating It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. You know, in regards to ammo that goes inside the weapon, which are famously designed to be powerful against living things. Hmm. <laughs> what makes this one most hilarious to me is that presumably Barry is quite familiar with guns and weapons and ammo since he works in law enforcement. Towards the beginning of the Resident Evil 4 remake, we see Leon being relentlessly chased and attacked by the villagers one of whom is wielding a chainsaw, and suddenly, upon hearing a church bell ring, finds himself alone in the aftermath. He exclaims, Where's everyone going? Bingo? Now, I don't know about you, but should that happen to me, and I'm granted a seemingly arbitrary moment of relief, I don't think I'd jokingly question if my pursuers we're on their way to the local senior center for socially acceptable gambling. I just haul myself out of there screaming, whisper screaming, I leave. During the Resident Evil 3 remake, Jill Valentine delivers quite a few delightfully campy lines, like bitch can't even swim, when she believes that Nemesis has fallen into the water and drowned. But I think my favorite is probably You want stars? I'll give you stars. Primarily because there's a high likelihood that if you're not careful, Jill will get decked by Nemesis as she says it because she's already running away from him in hot pursuit. And there's a first aid spray right in front of you that you may stop and grab thus setting you up to get absolutely clocked during the line read. Classic. During the events of Resident Evil 7, Ethan Winters comes across tons of weird real estate-based puzzles. It's ridiculous, but after a specific shadow puzzle, Ethan Winters remarks to himself, Who builds this shit? Fair, but what's hilarious is in Resident Evil Village, Ethan Winters has a copy of a historical look into the architecture of Eastern European castles and keeps by George Trevor on his bookshelf. George Trevor, of course, being the architect behind the Spencer Mansion and co-founder of the Trevor and Chamberlain Construction Company, who renovated the Baker home, specifically an installation of a shadow activated doorway in the main hall. The very puzzle Ethan remarks on. So either A, Ethan randomly has a separate interest in George Trevor's specific taste in residential architecture based puzzles, or B, one of Ethan's takeaways of his fun time in the Baker house is his keen interest in the house's peculiar architecture to the point that he's discovered who was behind it and now he's purchasing books by the now long dead co-founder of the construction company responsible your guess is as good as mine there in another ethan winters entry we see ethan in a final battle with carl heisenberg where we hear Matrix Magneto threaten Chris Redfield alongside Ethan with the line, the shoulder punch put your first. Which, honestly, pretty hilarious. But this one goes deeper. If Heisenberg is aware of Chris punching a boulder in the events of Resident Evil 5, then A, we want to know how on earth he found out about that one. B, this line's inclusion makes those events canon 
in the remakes, and most excitingly, C. It feels like a pretty good indicator that Resident Evil 5 is in development for a remake. I'm pretty freaking stoked about that one. Well, those were some of my faves. What are yours? Yell at me in the comments about it. And uh, real talk, like if you could click that like button, it'd be super dope, help me out. And then the, um, the little subscribe button right there, if you do it right, it goes all rainbow, super cool. You'll like that one. And if you could, oh, <laughs> if you could uh, click that video, YouTube thinks you like it. I think you'll like it. Oh, lost that daggum remote. Where's that remote? Oh, geez, I'm stuck.